Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so if you were hopping on, say hi if you're crushing the play. Say hi. Share this with your teams. Tag your girls in this. Whatever is easier with you on a Facebook is like weird about the sharing live videos now. Like it doesn't give me an option. So share this in any way that you can. I know it's early. It's like barely 8 a.m. But I'm an early bird and this is when I get my work done. So if you do catch the replay, totally cool. I hope everyone is having a good Thursday morning so far. Friday is a right around the corner, but I put together some sales tips for us um, and we're going to chat about it. So I literally, look how organized I am this morning, like super proud of myself, pat on the back, um, but we're going to talk about five sales tips that could help you guys. A lot of people, they're like, you know, I just am not getting the customer, like new customers or they start off strong and then it just kind of halts, right? So this is going to be a mix of like kind of how to keep your customers and things that we can be doing to also keep bringing in those new customers. So first things first is we're going to talk about customer service. Okay, so I want you guys to remember that even though we are an online through the phone based company sales we don't really we're not retail like in the stores right there's still a lot of customer service that goes into it your relationships cannot be just transactional you cannot just go follow up with your customers when you need sales okay and this is huge and i have made them this mistake and there are going to be customers that are just so hard to build relationships with and that is totally cool but there are still those those customers that we can't build relationships with. So just remember that the customers that you have, we have to treat them so good and we have to treat them more than just someone who's buying products from us because they are so much more than that, right? It's not just someone walking into Ulta buying a few things and going about their day. When they buy from us, it it does a lot for us. It really excites us in a way that probably doesn't excite the CEO of Ulta. So we have to make sure we're really showing that appreciation and that customer service to them to keep them from, to buy, like to keep them buying from us. So thank you cards is a huge one. Um, and this one is honestly so hard for me. Super transparent with you guys. Writing thank you cards is the, the least exciting thing for me to do. <laughs> Um, but it's also huge. So, you know, you can do this any which way. You can sit down every week and write thank you cards for the following week. You can do it once a month. I, I prefer to do it that way. It's a lot more obviously writing at once, but I can't have the extra thing on my weekly to-do list. So, but thank you cards. So just go to the previous month. So like May 1st, I'm going to go and write thank you cards for all of April's orders. And... I'm going to thank them. I'm going to throw in some samples in there. I might throw in a scrunchie. I might, you know, throw in a $5 gift card to my, my VIP customers, one that are always buying from me, right? Just some house fool them. And what you say in this thank you card is completely up to you. Mine are always so different. But, you know, last month I was really shooting for like a huge, huge, huge goal. So I like made sure I emphasized on that on all of my thank you cards. Like, Thank you so much for helping me, for being so willing to help me get to my goal. We hit it. We did it. So exciting. Here's some samples for you to try. I can't wait to hear what you think about them, etc., etc. And these are all handwritten. Um, I think that le really just leaves that personal touch on things. But you for sure, I, I saw someone in another direct sales company and they made like a card stock. Um, kind of like one of those little cards that you get from some boutiques when you order online and it had like a picture of them and it said like, you know, with, with gratitude or something like that. And I'm sure maybe she wrote something on the back or maybe she has already like a pre written thing on the back and you can just order those in bulk and send those out. Um, but I would always just maybe add something personalized on there, even if it's not like a whole, like paragraph of thank you like of gratitude just so they can see that extra touch and always put something in there whether it's a sample or I love putting scrunchies in mine for some reason 
but anything, right? You can really put anything in yours. So thank you cards. Um, a customer service is following up. And I want to talk about this in a sense of you should not be just following up with your customers just when you want a sale. So if I, I have a customer and her name's Angie and I love this lady to death. Okay. We have built such a good relationship and her sister's really, really sick. She's not going to make it that much longer. And you know, I literally just sent her a message the other day and I was like, hey, like, how are things with your sister? Just follow up with them. Follow up with their order. Follow up with their life. If you notice that someone got a promotion or someone had a baby or someone sold their house or maybe they're going through something tough, reach out to them. Build those relationships and, like, let them know that you're there outside of skincare and makeup and then when you do follow up with them for an order they're probably going to be more inclined to support you because they know that you care about them okay um sending tutorials so this can be tons of different ways but if you have a customer and they're having trouble applying that foundation you better sit down Record a video of yourself applying the foundation, teaching them. You can do it this way with the sponge. You can take this type of brush and do it this way and send that video to them. That is good customer service because you could literally, a customer could say, hey, this isn't working for me. I want to return it. And you could say, okay, like I'll get you the return slip. Or you could say, hey, I'm going to send you a quick video on how I apply the foundation. And maybe that'll help you out just a little bit better instead of just returning it. I really want you to love this foundation. We have until this day to return it be like, so you can get your full refund. But let me just send you this video of how to apply it. Or are you local? I would love to get together with you and show you how to apply it. And maybe you'll fall in love with it. Right? Don't, don't. You have to give that good customer service. So send them tutorials on how to do things. Um, and then again, this kind of goes back with following up, but getting to know them, build those relationships. That is a huge part of customer service. Get to know your customers. Get to know them. Do they have kids? Are they married? Do they have any animals? Where do they work? What do they do for a living? Build those relationships with your customers. Your customers are not just here to buy things from you. If you view your customers as just transactional, you're going to lose your customers. No shadow of a doubt. And some customers will just be transactional and that's okay. I have tried to build relationships with people and they won't talk to me. And I'm like, I'm trying here. And they're like, yeah, I'm good. I'm like, yeah, me too. Thanks for asking. You know, there are people like that. But do your best, okay? Okay, so second thing is consistency. This one is huge. This one is the number one thing probably that I have for a tip with sales is consistency, okay? So are you being consistent with going live? Like, are you going live three to four times a week? Are you planning out those lines? Are you, are you lives? Are you being strategic about that? What about your stories? Are you keeping those alive every single day? And not just about Lime Life. I had three people yesterday, three. It was literally, I was like, like what is happening? Three people yesterday messaged me on Instagram saying that I just love watching your stories. You are so fun. I like look forward to the Fincher's life every single day. And they didn't talk about anything about product, but I'm building those relationships. I'm allowing people to get to know me. And that is why these things are so important. Because when they run out of mascara, they're going to know, hey, that girl sells mascara. And I love watching her. So make sure you are staying consistent with your lives, your stories, your posting, and your emails. Okay? Um, I think lives, stories, stories and posting are daily things. You have got to keep your stories going. Just whatever you want to put on there. I literally show my entire life with Lime Life thrown in there every now and again. And I post every single day, twice a day to my Facebook page. Okay. We'll have to do a whole Instagram training. Um, I try to go live like three to four times a week whether that's on Facebook or on Instagram. And I try, or I do send out emails once a week, okay? And something, um, I think I have it down here, but something that I'm gonna start doing to kind of, cause emails are hard for me. I'm like, well, what am I gonna email them? You know what I mean? Like that I want to make sure they're like getting good things out of my emails instead of just like 
stuff that they're not interested in. And I was actually watching a training and she says that she does Tuesday tutorials for her customer. So what she does, she doesn't like do this on Facebook Live or anything. She'll get in front of her phone and she'll record like a three to five minute video on like specific things. So like, let's talk brows for a second. She'll record like a three minute video on tutorial on brows. She'll save it and she'll upload it to her IGTV. She'll send it in the email every Tuesday because it's her Tuesday tutorial and she'll post it um, on YouTube. So three platforms from one video that's three to five minutes long. And I was like, that is genius because people love that kind of stuff. They want to be taught. And I was like, that is freaking genius. And it's so easy to just sit down and do it like you're doing your makeup anyway. Like we do our makeup anyway. So sit down and do tutorials, right? And plan out. There's four Tuesdays in a month. That's four things. We have tons of product. You can literally do tutorials on almost anything. And if you don't know how to do something, YouTube it. You guys learn. Don't ever stop learning. So consistency is huge. It is, I could literally could like say, I could just get on here, train you guys, and just say consistency. Oh, that's not working for you. Are you being consistent? Are you being consistent? Oh, you're not recruiting. Are you being consistent? Like, it's all about consistency. Um, tip number three, sell with your heart. Okay. People, A, can see right through you if you just want to sell. And when you sell with heart, it's so much more deeper. So think about this. Why are you here? What is your passion here? What's your vision for all of this? Why? Why? And what will it do for your life if people support you? If someone was to place a $100 order with you right now, what would that do? What would that be able to pay for? Would that get you closer to the reason why you're here? And if your network doesn't know why you're here, they're not going to be more like, as inclined to buy from you. Why do you guys think I share my entire life? Because they don't just buy from me because they need a mascara. They could go to Walmart and buy a mascara. There's no emotional connection there. But if they know why I'm doing this, if they see my passion, my drive, my excitement, my, my vision for my future, they're going to want to buy from me because of that. There, people buy from you because of who you are. People buy people. We say that all the time and it's still true to this day. So sell with your heart. Make sure you're sharing what you're doing here. Why this is important to you. Okay, storytelling. This is also huge. Like tell your story. This can literally go with recruiting. You can tell your story about why you're here. You can tell your story and relate it to a product. Okay, like talk about having dark circles and the, this is the only concealer that you could ever find to help those dark circles. Talk about like Put a story time in it. Was there a time that you like try to mascara and it like completely ruined your eyelashes and this is the only mascara that won't do that? Story tell it. Don't just sell mascara, but put a story to it. Um, value. Just like the Tuesday tips or Tuesday tutorials. That's giving them value. Does that make sense? So when you're posting, I'm sorry, I like just to eat breakfast. So it's like, I like I'm burping a lot. Um, when you're posting about a product on your page, on your stories, wherever you're posting about it, I want you to like, before you post, like before you hit post, I want you to reread it and say, how is this giving someone value? Is this teaching something? Is this, you know, giving them, is this inspiring them? Will this make them laugh? Is this relatable? Is this giving them value? Are they, is this like, is it a post that they're going to be like, oh yeah, that would definitely help me out. Like I need that. Or are you just posting? So value, make sure you are doing things like tutorials, giving them 
giving them learning, teaching them something. And then the last one of four, so with your heart is problem solve. And those all kind of tie in together, but they also are also separate in so many ways, but problem solve. If all of our, all of our products, all of them solve a problem. Mascara helps your lashes be more lengthy, okay? So you go from no lashes to lashes. Your brows shape your face. That is that is a problem. Your foundation and concealer cover up acne. That is a problem, right? Like they're all things. Skincare, huge problem solvers over in the skincare, right? So think about what when you when you're trying to sell something to someone or you're posting or whatever, what problem are you solving? Think about that. Like, these are things that we have to think about when we're posting. Okay, so let's go to topic number four. Um, don't just post this to check something off of your to-do list. If you're not posting with any intent, no one, like, it, it, they'll be able to tell. They will be able to tell. So if you're not getting a lot of likes and interaction on your post, and y'all, it happens to me too. When I get lazy, and I post something, I don't get anything on it. And there's a reason because I did not post with intent. I wasn't trying to problem solve. I wasn't trying to give value. I was just like, posted something about body bronzer and just quickly did something because I was too lazy to figure out how to actually make it a good caption, like make a good caption. So when you're posting, do not just post to, okay, I have, I have to do, I have to post tonight. I have to do this tonight, this tonight, this tonight, this tonight. Let me just go ahead and post this really quick. I'll just get a post up really fast. No big deal. No, no. If you're not going to post something valuable, don't post at all. Like don't, 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 don't post at all. Make sure you're giving value. Make sure you're posting with intent. And then the last one, so tip number five is, are you doing your IPAs daily? And I want you to be honest with yourself. Are you sending happy birthday messages every day? Are you interacting with people on your social media? Are you interacting in the stories? Are you posting? Are you going live? Are you doing your stories? Are you interacting from your friends list? There, There's tons of things, and it's all in our onboarding guide, of things that you can do every single day to help your Facebook algorithm, which in returns helps people see your stuff and in which returns help them get to know you, gets to see your stuff, which probably will result in a sale. There's a girl on Instagram and she said that she has been following me for over a year and for a year, she's like, I just want to be friends with this girl. She just seems so much fun, yada, 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 yada. And for a year, she didn't say anything to me. And she, she's a customer now. People watch you. They watch you. Literally, we have eyes on us all the time. They see when we're not taking it seriously. They notice when we're not doing these things. I promise you. I promise you. People notice from the ones who barely show up and work to the ones who bust their butts. They, they notice those. And I'm going to ask you a question. If you walked in, I'm trying to think of a place that would be good to relate. I'm like horrible at like relating things, but let's see. If you were looking for daycares, okay. If you were looking for daycares to send your, to send your kids to, okay. And you went and toured three different daycares. The first daycare that you toured there was just a bunch of lazy people. Like the kids were going crazy. The teachers were just sitting down on their phones, whatever, whatever, whatever. And you were just like, okay, let me go look at the next one. The next one, the teachers were super hands-on. You could tell they really took their job seriously. All the kids had great manners. It was very well structured, whatever, whatever. And then the third one was just kind of in the middle. Which one would you choose? Would you choose the daycare that the people just half asked everything or would you choose the daycare that those people took their job seriously? You would take the one that the people took their job seriously because you want your kids to be in the best hands possible. People think the same thing about us. They, they literally think the same thing. When I go and support someone from direct sales, it's because I see them day in, day out, hustling their ass off. 
And people think the same from us. So if you ever have thought, well, the higher ups or my leaders, they only get top sales because they've been here longer. No, it's not true. We probably work our tails off while y'all are half-assing it. Are you doing your IPAs daily? And I like I love I, I like I, I'm not like I did not come on here and intend to like give you tough love, but you have to be so aware of this, y'all. I get it. Some days I don't want to do anything. Right? I do not like. It's not that I like am just willing to like work my ass off every day. Like <laughs> it is not something <laughs> that I want to do every single day. But. The ones who show up every single day with that hard work ethic and they're putting in the work to help them towards their goals and they are excited and willing and determined no matter what gets in the way to get to reach that goal, those are the ones that people are going to support. How many times have I had people message me and say, I used to buy from so-and-so, but it doesn't look like she does much anymore. They want to know that they are in good hands. It's so important. It is so important. And I say this with such emphasis because so I talk to every single one of you almost, at least if you're my front line and my personally enrolled, almost daily. Okay, at least some of you, at least daily. And when we talk about goals, you have these great goals. And it's not that you can't achieve these goals. It's not like I'm like, oh, she wants to sell $1,200. Yeah, okay, good luck. I know that each and every one of you are so capable of selling that. Every single one of us can be platinum active. But the thing that you're missing are these things consistency, the willing to show up and take it seriously, putting in the work every single day, not just posting to check something off of your list, giving good customer service and selling with heart. All of these things are so important. And if you're having trouble like balancing, right? You're like, ah, oh, like I, I'm trying, but I just can't fit it into my schedule. I'm just truly so exhausted at the end of the day. And I get it. I get it. So let's 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 figure out how to how to find that balance. If this is important to you. If this is important to you. Like this is important to me, you guys. Like I eat, breathe, sleep, line life. <laughs> like it is important to me to reach my goals because those goals of mine are so deep. They're like deep into my heart. Like they they have so much meaning behind them. Like I have to get them. Like I have to have them come true. That even when I'm tired, I, I, I do it anyways. I do it anyways. I go to bed early, like nine o'clock early. Like I normally put my phone down. I'll watch a little bit of TV till like 9.30, maybe 9.45. And then I go to sleep. But last night we had a Zoom at nine, it ended at 9.30, and then I stayed up until 10, finishing my plan for May. Yeah, I'm literally already planning May. And getting all my Instagram like content planned out and things like that. And I didn't get into bed until probably like, like put my computer down and stuff until like 10.30. I was exhausted. I tried to watch a little bit of TV, but I was like, I am just so tired, and I went to sleep. I didn't have any me time last night, any. And is every night like that? No, every night is not like that, okay? So I'm not saying go and kill yourself and stay up all night long. But I will tell you, a lot of the top leaders that I have talked to that are busy, like us, have a nine to five, they come home and have to cook dinner and their kids, they tell me, I just stay up until 11, 12, maybe one o'clock in the morning and I get it done. And the reason why they do that is because this is important to them. Maybe they want to quit that nine to five. Maybe they want to stay home full time. Maybe they want to retire their husband. They have a why. I posted, this is like, I'm literally rambling now, but I have to say it. I posted something in here 
yesterday and was like, um, talking about how like your why goes into the how. Like if your why isn't strong enough, you'll never find the how. And I was like, oh, I love that. I love that because a lot of us were like, remember your why, remember your why, remember your why. And you'll hear me say that a lot. Remember why you're here. Because if your why is not strong enough, if the reason you're here is not strong enough, you're not going to figure out how to get to that why. Because it's not that important to you. You have to find a why that it's like, I have to do that no matter what. Like, I have to do this no matter what. And then that is how you'll get there. You'll figure out the how along the way. You know? So I hope that this helps. I literally, like, before I get off here, I need you guys to know that every single one of you has what it takes to sell, to be a top seller in this team and in this company. And I'm not talking about selling $10,000. You were all capable of that. But if right now you're only selling $300 a month, well, not only, if you're selling $300 a month and you would like to sell $600 a month, you are capable of that. If you want to sell $1,200, $2,000 a month, like consistently, you are capable of that. You really, all of us are. There is literally nothing different between the person that is selling $10,000 a month than what we're doing, except they're probably working a lot harder. They're probably going live on TikTok, doing the reels, doing the TikToks, doing the YouTube. They're probably doing a lot more than we are. So you kind of have to like look at your look at look at it in a big picture. What do what would like what do I want to sell every single month? Is it twelve hundred dollars? Okay, so if it's twelve hundred dollars, what does that look like? Like obviously, what you were doing right now is not going to sell twelve hundred dollars. So we have to say, okay, so what other things can I add on that might help boost my sales? Same with recruiting. Okay, I would really love to recruit two people. So the things that I'm doing right now aren't obviously attracting people to me. So what other things can I be doing? And if you don't know, set up a coaching call. Not with me. I mean, you can with me. I don't care. But it doesn't have to be me. It can be anybody if you see someone's winning and doing good, I don't matter if they're a leader or not. Hey, can I need help with this. Can you please, like, give me some tips? Um, I could literally ramble for, like, an hour here. So, I love you guys. I hope everyone has a good Thursday. If you guys have any questions about any of these things, just reach out. And I will talk to you all later.